Hello and welcome to Sharon Local History. This short video is uh, basically a summary of a talk we held at Sharon Historical Society. It is a talk by G.A.D. Gregorio, who is an incredible artifactual scholar, and you can listen part of his talk. Um, my name is Paulo Di Gregorio. I am a, a historian, an archaeologist, a one-time park ranger with the National Park Service. Um, I spend a lot of time talking about history and thinking about history and uh, presenting some interesting views of the past. Uh, one of the important aspects to think about when we think about history, when we think about the past, is that it's not really like you learned in high school. When you were sitting in your high school history classes and you had to memorize names and dates and kings and battles and that sort of stuff, that was kind of dry and boring. Uh, history is actually much more exciting than that. History is the story of people and people interacting with one another and people uh, being affected by great events and people going about their daily lives. And when I, I introduce myself to my history classes at Bridgewater State University, I always make sure that my students remember that we are very much players in history. We are the products of history in the past and we are making the history of the future. So history really isn't remote, history isn't foreign, history is there all around us all the time, especially in places like this, the historical society where we have history foremost in our minds. Now today's talk uh, kind of evolved over a several years of thinking about local history and the history of Massachusetts and the broader history of New England itself. It's called the Commonwealth of Catastrophe. Um, and we're not going to be talking about the, uh, the Boston Red Sox 2023 season this afternoon. <laughs> we are, in fact, going to be looking at some of the, the uh, catastrophes, some of the disasters, natural and man-made, that have affected the Bay State, that have affected Massachusetts, our commonwealth. Now, uh, oh, as we dive into the story of this history, as we dive into the topic itself, looking at the uh, floods and fires and other disasters, some of them might be familiar to you. Some you may not have heard of ever. Uh, so it's going to be kind of a, a quick walk through Massachusetts history, nearly 400 years of Massachusetts history, and our interaction with the environment and our survival in this, um, in this commonwealth that we all call home. Now, to start off with, I do want to uh, get a couple of things out of the way. We're going to be looking at some man-made disasters. Now, two of the important man-made disasters, two that you're probably familiar with, are the two we see here on the screen. The Great Molasses Flood of 1919 and the Coconut Grove Fire of 1942. Both of those are um, tragic events that have, that have shaken Boston, that have shaken Massachusetts. I'm not gonna talk about those because there are other scholars who have delved in depth to those. Those are famous big events that, that you probably have heard of at the very least. We'll also be talking about some natural disasters. Um, we have the hurricane of 1938 and the blizzard of 1978. How many of you remember the blizzard of 78? I have memories of that from my childhood, um, giant mountains of snow. I grew up in Connecticut, so we got hit with that too. Uh, I'm also not gonna be talking about these because again, celebrated, well-known events here in the history of New England. Instead, I'm gonna be looking at some of the, the lesser known or at least uh, less remembered of these historical catastrophes, these historical disasters. We're gonna be looking at a variety of things from diseases to industrial accidents to natural events like hurricanes and storms and fires uh, that really are mainly based in Eastern Massachusetts, but also covering much of the state. So how do we begin? Where do we begin our story? Well, let's go back to the earliest days of the Massachusetts Bay Colony, when we were still a colony of Great Britain in the first part of the 18th century. Now, of course, Massachusetts Bay itself is established as a colony in 1630. Uh, Plymouth is established in 1620. And there is a growing population of Englishmen settling on this side of the Atlantic Ocean, establishing towns like Boston and Plymouth and other places. And the English population grows quite steadily over the course of the 17th century. Now, during that time period, there are disasters that befall the English colonists here in North America. You have fires that break out. Fire was a particular threat because what were most of the settlements built with, the towns built with? Wood. And wood, as you probably know, catches fire and burns quite nicely. And uh, in places like Boston, we do see outbreaks of disease. Now, why? Boston was a seaport town. 
Boston depended on that connection with the Atlantic world for its economic survival. That is how people were getting here from England by sea. And um, traveling by sea was often not the most sanitary means uh, of getting places. You were trapped on a small boat with lots of other people, and diseases were prevalent. Diseases uh, moved quickly in those populations. And then when people were sick on the boats, arrived in the cities that are densely packed, the towns that are densely packed, as we see Boston depicted over here, what happens, those diseases begin to spread through that population. Now, the map you see on the screen is a, a famous map of uh, Boston in the early 18th century. It's called the Bonner map. It was written by, drawn by Captain John Bonner of the, uh, the he was a soldier in the British military, the English military. And it depicts Boston as a thriving seaport town. You see the uh, harbor there in the lower part of the image, all the boats there. Again, that connection with the broader Atlantic world. And you see the houses and the buildings of Boston all incorporated there along the seashore. So as I mentioned before, Paolo Di Gregorio is the artifactual scholar. He's an historian, archaeologist, and also a lecturer with a passion for telling stories of our history. Paolo has presented lectures on diverse historical and cultural topics at colleges and community centers thorough Eastern Massachusetts. He has also been a guest speaker aboard cruise ships on the Great Lakes, Chesapeake Bay, and coastal New England. Since the start of the pandemic, he has used digital technology to present remote and virtual lectures to his audiences. He gave us a brief history of floods, fires, and other disasters in Massachusetts. It has been nearly 400 years since the establishment of Massachusetts and, its, and the birth of Boston. In that time, the city and commonwealth have grown and flourished. Yet, that success has often been tempered by disasters, both natural and man-made. This talk will discuss some of the significant, memorable and legendary disasters from 18th century earthquakes to 19th century fires to 20th century storms. I would like to also mention that Mr. Paolo Di Gregorio is visiting lecturer in the History Department at Bridgewater State University, Bridgewater, Massachusetts, and an occasional visiting instructor in the Anthropology and History Departments at Wheaton College in Norton. In addition, he is a two-time award-winning producer of local cable television and internet series, History Shorts with the Artifactual Scholar. By the way, there are many videos on YouTube and they are fantastic. If you do love history and you just want to um, kind of consume it in small doses, these videos are fantastic. So you can find them on YouTube under name History Shots with the Artifactual Scholar. So in here I let you listen to a short part of our talk. It is part of the story of our commonwealth. These are events that impacted many of the people that lived here that have shaped a lot of the, the development of Massachusetts from things like inoculation to flood control. All of that emerges because of the disasters that have occurred over the long history of the state. In a, in a talk like this, it is really kind of necessary to self-edit. There are a lot of events, important events, that I did not include in this discussion. You'll notice the only disease I talked about was smallpox back in 1721. Um, there were other outbreaks of epidemics throughout Massachusetts. We have the influenza epidemic in, in uh, 1918. We've talked about COVID in 2020, so we don't really need to remember that because we've all lived through it. But um, disease certainly shaped the, the history of Massachusetts. There are other types of disasters that I completely ignored. Things like shipwrecks and train crashes and plane crashes. There, that's probably an entire different talk if we wanted to focus on those types of disasters here in Massachusetts. But the ones that we've looked at, these industrial, these natural events from tornadoes to hurricanes to, to blizzards to industrial accidents, certainly played a role in the lives of thousands of people in the Commonwealth and certainly did shape the modern response to these types of things in modern Massachusetts, in current Massachusetts, and really in the United States. So this history of catastrophe, this history of, of disaster um, is one that is continuously refreshed, continuously rewritten, but one that does have an important legacy for us today. And that is the, uh, 
as I said, the last disaster I was going to talk about. So if anybody has any questions, please feel free to ask. If you belong to an organization that would enjoy talk by Paolo, please do reach out to him. Here is his email address. Thank you for watching Sharon Local History.